Do you guys have the same problem I have? Are you sitting on your floor in your theater when you watch a movie? Well, today, we're gonna go from this to this. All kidding aside, one of the most important aspects of a home theater is the seating. I know everybody focuses on projectors and speakers and subwoofers, but let me tell you what, if you're sitting on the floor or you're sitting in a chair that's not comfortable, about two and a half hours into that next Marvel movie, it's all gonna suck no matter what. Now, you can look at lots of different types of seating. I mean, you can go down to the local furniture company and buy a chair or a sofa. But for me, I really wanna elevate my movie viewing experience to the next level. And to do that, I'm looking at some very, very cool chairs from Valencia. Now, these things are stacked and they do it all. And we're gonna show you how you go from nothing to something in this video. And then we'll talk about the features and show you exactly how comfortable or maybe not, that they really are. To get started, let's talk about what we're gonna be doing here today. Valencia sent out a set of love seats from their Tuscany line. In the traditional sense, a love seat is a seat and a half or a big seat that two people would sit close together in. Now, that's similar here, but a little bit different. And what I mean by that is these are two fully functional seats that just don't have an arm in the middle. So basically you've got arm, seat, seat, arm, and you're right up next to the person that's gonna be sitting beside you. But both of the seats have all of the recline power, all of the functionality independently. So they're not tied together in any way other than physically sitting beside each other. From a feature point of view, these seats pretty much have everything. And I mean everything. They have power recline, power headrest, and power lumbar support, which is really, really cool. You see a lot of power recline, you see some headrest, but lumbar is not that common. And I tell you what, that lumbar control really takes things to the next level. So for me, the headrest is super, super important. And I really didn't know how much I would or wouldn't like lumbar support. But when I hit that button and get the support just right in the middle of my lower back, so that when I'm reclined my head and my back and my legs are all supported equally, that gives me an amazing viewing experience. I can just snuggle into this chair and it really fits exactly to my contours. And I can't say that about any other seat that I've used before. So outside of the power features, there are a few things that I think are important to touch on. So the unit that I'm installing, these come in what's called vintage brown leather, and that's a new color. And to me, it really kind of calls to my sensibilities for seating. So I've always loved like the brown leather Chesterfield sofas, and this is kind of like that, but updated for the new era of movie and home theater uh, entertainment. The diamond stitching really kind of has a, a call out to that aesthetic as well, which to me is very pleasing to the eyes and also is very pleasing to the touch when you touch this leather. It, it feels really great. Of course, all of the other standard items are there as well. You've got your cup holder, the armrest storage has a pneumatic lid, which is really nice, and the foam in the chairs is outstanding. One additional thing to mention about the padding is that since there's so much of it, when I sit down in the seat, I feel like I'm riding kind of high and I almost sink in just a little bit to the padding. Uh, now I'm about 280 pounds, so I'm pretty heavy, but I really do like the way it kind of fits my contours and really kind of holds me. It's like you're putting on that supple glove. It's a really good feeling. Uh, it's super soft and super supportive. Other fun features include a USB charger on each armrest, as well as blue LED lights. Now, at first I didn't think that was gonna be very cool, but it is pretty cool when you walk into the theater and see the blue light coming from the cup holders and from underneath the sofa. Obviously you can turn this light off when you wanna watch your movie, but man, it does give you a cool feeling of ambience. It's like you're in a real theater. Now that you know what we're installing, let's talk a little bit about that process of installation and it really can't get much easier than what we experienced. So first, you've got to get these things unboxed and to your room, wherever that might be. These aren't super heavy, but I do recommend having two strapping young lads to carry these things, especially if you're going to go up or downstairs. Now, the backrest easily handled by one person. However, you do want to take the seat, the base, and you're going to want to turn this thing upright so you can get it through all of your doors. And that's going to be best done with two people. Once you get the base and the backrest moved to your room, the assembly goes really fast after that. There's really only two things per seat that you need to do. 
One, there are a couple of cables, power cables that you need to attach from the base to the backrest. It's super self-explanatory. They only fit one way and they're color coded so you can't mix them up. Once you have those two cables connected, then you simply take the backrest and it will slide down on two posts coming out of the base and click into place. Um, if it doesn't feel like it's clicking immediately, just push on it a little bit and it'll get there. There's really nothing else you need to do to get ready. It's all good to go once you get those two connections made. Just drop it on and push, click, done. At this point, you've got half of your love seat assembled. The second half is just like the first half. It's just rinse and repeat. It's just only the mirror image. So if you can do one, you can do the other. But now, once you've got these two pieces all assembled, this is where things get a little interesting. And this is something that I'd never seen before. So you've got to attach them together. And if you look on the left hand piece on the bottom, there are these two flanges that will rotate out and they have these serrated teeth that look like they're just ready to eat something. Well, on the right hand side, there are these triangular posts on the bottom of the seat on the edge. So what you do is you flip these two flanges out, you match them up with the two triangular posts, and then you just simply push the two pieces together. And as they come together, you'll hear those teeth click, click, click around those triangle posts as you tighten and snug them up together. And let me tell you what, once you get these things together, they're pretty much together. I don't know how these things might come apart in the future, but they seem to hold on pretty tight. Now that everything's assembled, let's take a quick look at the operation. It's pretty straightforward. There's a button that will recline and unrecline. There's also a powered headrest button that will move that headrest forward and it comes out pretty far, far enough even for me. And then that last button is your lumbar. And uh, this thing is crazy. Like I said, it really can bow you out the wrong way if you push it all the way. I need just a smidge for me to have the perfect setting. When you want to return everything to the home position, that unreclined button will also move the headrest and the lumbar back to their center positions. We do need to touch on the danger of the love seat. Now the love seat is designed to put two people close together. And in this situation, if it's someone that you like and you care for, then it could be a good situation. Maybe it's a beautiful woman, you could hold her hand. But sometimes things don't work out exactly that way. Just say you got your buddy over and he's hanging out watching a movie with you and, and you're like, okay, I'm gonna sit down, we're gonna get close. And you know, you might wanna just reach out and hold that hand but it doesn't always work out well. Let's consider the size of the seats. Now, my friend Mike is what I would consider to be a normal size guy. Me, however, I'm pretty big. So I might kind of spill out over into the other seat a little bit. In this situation, it might be best to actually have an armrest in between. Now, if your seatmate is on the smaller side, and my wife is tiny, she's only five foot tall, you can see that her feet don't even touch the ground when she sits in the sofa. Well, that's not so bad because if I spill into the seat there, who cares? Well, maybe she does, but she's nice and she lets me do it anyway. Another great feature of Valencia seating is the configurability of the seating that you purchase. And what I mean by that is that you can buy these in pretty much any design that you can think of. So you can buy individual seats or just like a sectional, you can buy seating pieces and put them together with or without armrests. And this can scale as big or as small as you'd like it to be. Now, one thing though that is important is you need to think about how many seats you need because these seats are gonna be popular and what you don't want is to be fighting over who gets to sit in your Valencia seating. Okay, folks, I hope this has given you some ideas of how you can up the game in your theater by purchasing some awesome new seating from Valencia. Thanks a lot, Giles, for having me over. Really appreciate it. And don't forget, every Tuesday night, we do a live stream at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. You can find it on our Hi-Fi Fanatics YouTube. Don't forget to follow that as well. Have a great night.